So we can go upstairs and blast them out of bed with the fire hose, man. We all brought up face with hard luck. Face to face, face to face with hard luck. Pimps card shots, Steve Smurdy was with hard luck. Pimps and card shots, Steve Smurdy was with hard luck. We all brought up face with hard luck. Face to face, face to face with hard luck. Pimps card shots, Steve Smurdy was with hard luck. Pimps and card shots, Steve Smurdy was with hard luck. Good morning and welcome to the Hard Luck Show. I'm your host, Steve Lucky Luciano. Got my partner, the Indian in the house. Yeah, Chumahan Bowen, elegant barbarian, and contrarian. Very contrary. <laughs> very, very contrary. Mary, Mary. Mary, Mary. Mary. And why you bugging? Old Blue Eyes himself, oh, our sound engineer. Oh, Blue Eyes. What's up, dog? What's up, man? Old, what up, G? What's old, going down? Old hey, up. Matt, why don't you uh, pop yourself down in that little... There we go. Hey, so um, what I wanted to do, because Big Lux and I were on a show last night. Yeah, we were. Right? Hoodstocks. Big shout out to Hoodstocks. Big Lucky. shout out to Lucky Sun Zoo. Yeah. I-E. And the Hoodstocks team. Yeah, all those dudes were badass. And uh, um, what did you think of that? What was, How did you feel about the show? How did you feel about how it went? I thought it was it went great, man. Fucking Lucky's nothing but a gentleman. Right. Looked out. You know, he's helped us out. He gives it up for us, you know. He did. And uh the show really had no you know, it was open ended. Kinda how we do our thing. Right. We just got in there and started chopping it up, you know? It was two hours of power, bro. It was. I think too, I did a show on there about a year and a half ago. And I was solo, and Lucky really wanted, you know, both of us on there, and I think he wanted to get to know uh, who Chumahan was and and the other half of uh, of the Hard Luck Show. So um, I thought it was I thought it was great. They've got a dope setup, right? Yeah, yeah. You know uh, what I really liked is that they had that monitor set up yeah. where you could see all of the insults, right? So like while you're sitting, there, while, <laughs> while, you're, the while you're sitting there like trying to have a regular conversation, you can like see them talking mad shit about you as it's scrolling up and down, and they don't spare anybody on that book on the comments, right? That shit was crazy, man. That shit was crazy. <laughs> the live, just the whole, all the dialogue that's coming down that shit. Right. So you can. I see like fucking a hundred people say I was on meth. <laughs> Like, look, he's on a meth on the middle. He's on a good one. <laughs> yeah. They were talking about my yellow teeth. They were like, yep. hey, you need to sue whoever fucked up your teeth. Yep. They were calling me John Redcorn. They were fucking saying, oh, when I smile, traffic slows down. The whole fucking nine, dude. I was, like, watching it all. Yep. Jew. It's <laughs> me, and, me, and, me and Lucky are all both, uh, you know, half Jew. And they were like, everything was Jew after we stated that. Yeah. yeah. Like caps, like it was like J E W in capital letters. Keep it up, I love it. <laughs> yeah, we love that. Yep, that's like music to our ears. Now, yeah. oh, blue eyes, uh, what were you doing? Where were you at? I yeah. was in the chat. You were in the chat. I was in the chat. Were you the one talking shit? I was talking shit. Yeah, you no, were just getting in there too with it. Yeah, how did you get yeah. in the chat? Like, what were you doing? Um, I was in the. It was the Hard Luck Shows account. So it, it the appeared, YouTube account. Yeah. So it's on YouTube. The chat room's in, on YouTube. So I was just in the chat watching you guys, whatever. Talk what? Shit. What did you think? Hey, there was people in there giving up love, though. I mean, don't right. get it, don't get it twisted. They're, everybody's clowning. I see no love. Everybody's <laughs> clowning. Uh. Lots, lots of clowning shit. People talking shit about that. It's weird, man. I don't get it. Why people <laughs> go to his chat room to talk shit about him? <laughs> Why don't you just not watch? I don't get it, but whatever, you know. I, mean, I think they're just doing there's shit. trolls everywhere. No, no, no. I think they're trying to like, I, to be honest, because I saw somebody made a funny ass comment about my gapped ass teeth, and I said something on the show, and the dude was like, "Shout me out, bro!" Right, right. They're just trying to get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to get some acknowledgement. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, from your perspective, so when you showed up in the chat, like from your perspective. Is there anything that you wanted to know? You watched some of the show, or you saw it all, or whatever. Was there some things that you, that questions that came up for you, O Blue Eyes, where you were like, "Yeah, I wonder what really yeah. happened." And there. Why didn't you call in? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was thinking about it. 
I was thinking about it. I didn't know what to say, actually. I was like, what, what am I going to say? Oh, this is Blue Eyes. You yeah. should have called in. Yeah, and said, yeah. I'm sorry I okay. couldn't be there. No, you should have yeah. called in and said, like, what do you want me to say? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm calling in, but, like, what the fuck you want when me to I say? When I heard uh, Jesus call in, he's I was the like, best. dope, man. I thought... Yeah, he's cool, man. Jesus is cool, but like he's got a very distinctive voice. Like, yeah, yeah. Hi, hey, hi, yeah. hey, hey, big it's, lips. Uh, hey, Chumahan. Hey, man, it's a fucking Jesus, man, fucking, it's fucking badass. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking awesome, dude. No, but did you have any other questions? Was there any thoughts you had about the yeah, way it looked? I mean, yeah, he. I mean, it looks like they're doing their thing over there. I. I couldn't see the rest of the, what you guys could see in the studio. So I, I there was like eight dudes or like yeah. six dudes in behind the scenes. Yeah. Well, what are they all doing? Well, some of them are just hanging out. I mean, they're right. supportive. Are they drinking? Are they smoking? Oh, dude, they're drinking. Dude. Drinking, smoking. Dude, I smelled like fucking marijuana. Like in the morning when I woke up, I could still smell the pot smoke on my clothes. Really? Yeah, yeah, they were fucking blazing, son. I don't like some drinks. Oh, yeah, dude, every, like, 50, like, so Lucky Sons would be like, eh, blah, 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 blah. and then he would, like, put his hand out like this with an empty chalice, and then and some, fill it there up. was a wine filler. What? There was, like, a wine steward, no. and he'd come by with red wine and fill it back up, and he'd be like, yeah. I think he started drinking wine to slow it down a little bit for him, right? <laughs> yeah, he was doing shots. Well, before. Right. Yeah, which yeah. is getting a little out of hand too quick. I think that the wine might have like what was he found drinking? Him down. Like Dude. Pinot or what? Like D yeah, Pinot. No, he was drinking. Oh yeah, like the Cabernet. Or Cabernet tea. Sauvignon. Yeah, yeah, right? really? like a yeah. Cabernet. He's like, I like uh, this red very wine. Very sophisticated. No, no. He t before he drank it, he you know looked at the legs and he took took in the cork, you know, and he was like, you know, and he enjoyed it. He was like, this is some good wine. Right. He was like, uh, San Luis Obispo, uh, and it was kind. Of a 19, rainy season, 1997, and he tastes like excellent. Vintage. There's a little sousson of toasted marshmallow on the back of the bottle. Little Mondavi, Blackberry. 92 Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> right, he was like, this would be greatly paired with a really nice brie. It was, it, it was, it was a fun show. It was really cool, and everybody's here. He was super. And he was, you know, he hooked us up with fucking hats, a fucking shirts, a fucking tank. It's a little bit smoky. It would go great with. Uh, <laughs> Grass-fed veal steak, <laughs> right? Perfectly right, with, yeah. There was, yeah. Some chanterelle mushrooms. Yeah, Nick, the guy's name. <laughs> chanterelle. With some a reduction pepper <laughs> corn sauce. <laughs> a la verga. <laughs> with a little charred radicchio <laughs> and a little sorbet afterwards <laughs> to cleanse your. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. that's right. And a touch of pico de gallo. And yeah. then we come back with a little coupe colette. This is colette. <laughs> with and, jojo potatoes. <laughs> yes. Right. Now, so that was cool. But what else? Did you have any questions? Like, you watched the show went on, dude. Yeah. 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 Nah, man, yeah. they're on some shit. They're, they got it fucking. I mean, there was like. 50 fucking cameras up. Oh, dude. And there was like, he didn't have none of this stuff, bro. They had like Nikons, and right? Right. Yeah, and these yeah. lights, bro, they had these, you know that, that ring light that he just brought? Right there? Yeah. They had like those, they had like square geez, panel square LEDs. LED lights. I mean, it was so, I was like, dude, wow, man. Right, man. Really bright. Like 10 times more lights than this, like right? we, like Like it was like a press conference. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like you sit down, and it's like you can't, you can barely make out anybody that's in the background. Right, right. right it's dude. like being on stage, huh? Yeah, and some dude back there had a fucking, it was rolling like something, and he was using like cigar paper or something. It was as big as a do rag, bro. He, it was like this big flat sheet of tobacco, and he was like, what? just rolling up a fatty, bro. Yep. Like, yeah, it yeah. was, a, it was a real deal. Of course, you know. That would have been cool in my older days, and now I'm sober, so I'm just kind of like, you know, drinking a little. I'm getting crazy with the Starbucks. What's what's uh, what was your take on like Luck's position with the podcast and where he's at with it? Yeah, that's an interesting question. We talked to him about it, and he was saying that like, I mean, he you know he there was he's got a little bit of a different approach than we do kind yeah, of right yeah. or his relationship to his podcast is a little different than our relationship to our podcast 
Would you agree? Yeah, well, because you put that question to him where it's like, could you not do this? And then he said, yes, I could not not do this. And he was explaining, and it's understandable on one level where he was saying, like, look, if it had to do with my family or whatever, I could drop it. I mean, yeah. But, but like, nobody everybody. Was, nobody was talking about that, though. But he was saying that, like, if it doesn't hit some sort of thing, then maybe. But it felt like to me a little bit he was maybe expressing some something he was expressing something about maybe how he felt about where it needs to be or what the reaction is or or whatever it is and that is a little different than the way we approach it i think so when i was watching it it seems like you know when it wasn't going to be fun for him anymore right he was just going to walk away right and um uh, that makes sense it does but i mean i don't know steve what did you think um well i from what he answered to me it was very much about you know if if you're not receiving this and if you're not receptive with what i'm giving out then yeah. it, th- then for, then it's not working i'm not going to do it type thing right right seemed kind of like that and which i understand that he made that clear. I was glad that he did make it clear where he was coming from. Yeah. I thought we were on a... I'm more on subscribing to the page. Like, if they don't fucking like it, well, then they don't like it. But I'm going to continue to do it. You know, I'm with you on that. Right. And I must also... But it's his show, but, right? But, but Yeah, and it's not right or wrong. It's just where we're at with things. Right. And But you know when he was saying that? What did occur to me that... <sighs> Like, so for the type of, who's his audience, right? So on the one hand, it makes sense that his audience would be a certain segment that you would think like, well, he represents that. And so clearly that's his audience. But as we know, sometimes your audience is slightly a little different than when you think it is. Yeah. Right? Right. So there was a part of me too was saying like, well, I'm curious to know like who's his real audience or who's his audience really because when i think about our show yeah it's you know the people who want to listen to some of the drama yeah it's some of those but i also kind of think it's a little broader and might be a little bit different than what we think and yeah. so that that means that there might be people that don't feel it but if i'm only looking at that i might get the wrong impression that there's another segment that is feeling it they do need this they do want to hear this sure. they are getting something out of it Sure. So I was thinking a little bit about that, too. Like, I don't even know how you study audience to get clear on what it really is. I've had enough people come up to me that listen to the show Mm -hmm. that I didn't know was our audience. Right. Make sense? Yeah. Like, I I think I know my audience. Right. But I have people come up to me, and I'm like, wow. And it it just invigorates me to continue to do more, and, and I like not knowing I think your audience gets bigger when you get more specific. Like when you like on some level, I I come I'm old enough to come from a an area where the concept was kind of like paint it broad. Like I'm gonna say some broad shit because I'm trying to collect as many of the deals. But I don't think it's like that now. I think that the more particular and the more specific you get, the more relatable you are to a wider audience of people. Huh. Because while they might not be able to maybe identify with the specific circumstance, if you get specific enough, they can identify with the feelings you're going through related to that circumstance. So I, I think that also our expectations of what creates an audience or whatever is different the media is different dude there used to just be like five fucking channels and then motherfuckers would be like yeah. oh it's thursday prime time yep. you know fucking yep. full house blah, blah, blah. but it, it's just so splintered out now it's not like that at all fucking big titty to hit might only have like 1.5 million people watching it now that's how it is now i mean fuck i, I mean really 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 I grew up and it was channel two, yeah, four, yeah, five, yeah, seven, <laughs> nine, <laughs> eleven, and thirteen. Why did they go every two? That was it. What? I don't know, but those what were, the fuck's wrong with there, it is, there? It was no cable. There was no other shit that somebody else was getting. Right. It was all that. That was national network. Now you had 
what was it, Sesame Street on public broadcasting, right. PBS, right. right? So that, you had PBS. Right, which is like a weak channel. You're like, man, I ain't gonna fucking watch no PBS, right? right, right. That was before Every now NBA. And then. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. So that was it, though. That was it. They had that this old house on PBS. Did you ever see that with yeah. that Bob Villa? That yeah, old bro. fuck with the overalls? Man, I watched that. Did you? Yeah. You really are old, blue eyes. That, but mean? I mean, dude, that was it. That was it. You were finding what it was on those channels. Not only was it that, but check this out. You had to coordinate your shit to be there at the at time the when time. it Yeah, aired. and that was it. <laughs> there was no, what was that, Te- Tebow or whatever the fuck? Yeah. Dude, remember when that what first you- started? Well, fucking, God, what DVR, was that called? DVR, yeah, yeah. but what was the original? Tivo, yeah. Tivo. Yeah, Tebow. remember when that first started? That, like, fucking revolutionized everything. Well, I remember with the VCR, you could record the motherfucker. Oh, I mean, sure. come on, bro. Co- trying to illegally copy fucking VHS Oh, yeah, shit. my dad was doing that shit. Oh, yeah, you would watch an entire movie with a fucking squiggles and shit. Right, 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 right. you're right, winning. Yeah, yeah but loan it to somebody. Right. Don't trip. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Lords of Flatbush right here. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I recorded off CBS. Oh, dude, dude that was. Fuck a- CBS. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. And as soon as you're done, I'm making fucking 20 fucking <laughs> copies of that shit. Huh? Hell yeah, bro. Man. That was the way it was like living in Soviet oh. Russia, bro. It was like fucking. People would. I think speak- my dad did that shit. Like, there was some fucking opera or some shit. He recorded it. <laughs> So good he made copies of that shit. He gave it out as <laughs> gifts to people. <laughs> he fucking wrapped it up. Yeah. That was fucking hilarious. From Tony. <laughs> From Tony, With man. Love. With love, man. Chris just wrote on it. Wrapped it, gave it to you. Go home, pop that thing in. All squiggly. Uh, yeah, dude. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, no joke. Nah, I believe that, dude. Yeah, she Hell was yeah. recorded off of fucking Channel 2 special. <laughs> you didn't catch it. You didn't catch it. But I did. <laughs> I was thinking about everybody. I was thinking about all y'all. Uh, uh, I didn't want you to miss this, so I recorded it. Man. Yep. Motherfucker, oh, boy. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, but that was, uh, and fucking, I remember when fucking, I remember when On, On TV came out. Do you guys remember On? No. What's that? What's On TV? On? That was like the first cable channel. That's the first box that you had at your house. The first one. <coughs> the no. very first cable TV was on TV. O-N. And they would come to your house and they'd fucking give you this fucking scrambler box <laughs> and you'd pay fucking whatever it was. I think at the time it was nineteen ninety nine. Was a it a, a fake wood? The box is fake, fake wood? Fake wood little thing. Yeah. And it said on on it. It had the logo. And they'd come in and they'd run the cable. And uh, and you would get the movies on. You would get what they were playing. You didn't really have choices. Now, <laughs> you 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 could switch it, and then at a certain time, at like twelve <laughs> or one, adult soft porn would come on. Right. Yeah. And there was a switch to have it on or off, and I had already figured out like the whole switch <laughs> thing. My dad was hot when they were gone. I'd be fucking watching the soft porn <laughs> rubble. <and> that, you know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, on TV, dog, and you could get movies that were like old movies in theaters, would be on on TV, and you could watch them. It was fucking badass. And then they kind of think Select TV came out a little bit after that. Wow, yeah. man, you and Select you could pick out a couple blockbuster movies, or but this is the beginning, dude, of cable TV subscription huh. cable TV. The first kind of thing that I ever encountered was um, a laser disc player TV. My really? butt, yeah, David Cross. If you're listening, thanks, man. That kid's dad was fucking rich, bro. And I, I mean, dude, whenever I go over to his house, it was like going over to Christmas. He had every fucking toy under the sun, all the Hot Wheels, man, all of them. And his family had that fucking laser disc, and we watched Smokey and the Bandit. On laser discs. Those laser discs were supposed to be like, and they weren't going to get ruined either. Like no. they would keep the fucking. Supposedly they were going to be the 
the route, right? It blew my mind. Were the laser discs the little ones? Or oh, the big they were ones? big. big looked like a record. Yeah, the record. Looked right? like a full on record. It was a gold record. Yep, yep. a platinum looking record. Smokey right? and a fucking bandit, bro. That was the hottest shit right there, dude. A guy in a fucking black Trans Am getting chased by the cops. Fucking Burt Reynolds. But you were watching VCRs before that, right? I, I mean, may, may, maybe where I was, the people I was with didn't have a VCR because there was beta. I had a well, beta. beta and VCR. That's what was going on VHS. in LA. VHS, right, right, and beta. I was up in Washington, so the laser disc was the first one. That's really a big ass fucking thing at this dude's house. Because there was a good fucking eight fucking years yeah, of VC bro. VHS before the laser shit showed up. I didn't know that. I thought hell yeah. I, I, yeah, mean, I, I thought it was it. like beta and then VHS and then the laser. Disc. Yes, that is right. the route it went. Right. And and VHS they the reason that the fucking albums those laser discs came out is because the VHS would bust if you watched them over and over the quality would yeah. finally yeah, wear yeah, out yeah, of them. Yeah, fucked up. And these discs were now going to be like they would last forever. The right. quality was high. You couldn't wear them out. Right. That was the whole thing. Because I, I remember somebody got that fucking, and they were like big platinum albums. Yeah, it was. And, and they remember on, on VHS, you had to like if it would fuck up, you'd have to hit that tracking. Tracking and, like, exactly. And you would have to get it right. And like the <laughs> laser the just didn't have that shit. It was yeah. just like all clean. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. No. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, that's that's yeah, laser disc was the first thing I ever saw. I was probably like six when I saw the laser disc, maybe seven. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. there was a whole fucking yeah, I did not that. know that. I didn't, I always thought, and then DVD. I mean, yeah, but like, like it was like beta, beta was for a minute, and then beta fell out, and then it was VHS, and then it was VHS, it seemed like for a long ass time. Oh, uh, and dude, you know, that was when you, dude. That was when you would go to the video store oh, and you would spend, even before, there would be one-offs right, before sure. Blockbuster. Absolutely there was. And you would show up, right, and you would sit there and walk all along these aisles for like an hour, like trying to figure out what am I going to watch. Oh, uh, me too. What am I going to watch tonight? What's it going? Right? You'd be like, oh, I'm going to see that. I'm gonna Horror see area. Yep. Classic film area. Oh, yeah. Man, I love that, dude. Me, that was dude? a shit. That was the best. Imagine how much time you had on your hands when you could spend time just standing around looking but at But it shit. was also exciting to go and fucking find fucking yeah, like some bro. fucking... Foreign ass dope movie, you know yeah, what I'm saying? The front and the bed. Oh, we're gonna watch Road Warrior, you know, like right. the original version. Of right. It. And you know, like, and you can get like a couple different things, you know. Yeah. Then you go back home, you got one movie for the kids, for the kids, right? Oh yeah. Then whenever when they're down to sleep, we got this motherfucking, you know, fucking yeah. oldie or you know whatever it might be. Right. Right. That was good. And that you kept good. all the movies for fucking four or five days, right? Yeah. Late bro. fees. Watch, late fees. Watch it a couple times. A little late fees. Right. Know? I liked them, man. Rocket Video. It was a great rental place. Oh, Rocket, Rocket, Rocket Video. On La Brea? On La Brea. On La Brea. Oh, that was, uh, dude, that was, if the, you were, that was the shit. Come on, bro. Real shit. motherfuckers. And you want to know something? Yeah. I was going to Rocket Video when Rocket Video was on Melrose. <laughs> Further down, closer to Fairfax, was the original Rocket. That was oh, yeah. what Rocket was, and it was small, and it was dope. Then they got so popular. Right. They moved over to La Brea by Melrose. Yeah, but, but like that was like known for like when I went there, it was like if you're on your way to becoming a director, the only place you went to was Rocket Video. That's where they had all the Criterion yep, shit, yep. all the real shit, letterbox. I never understood the letterbox. I didn't I never understood that. I'm like, well, I mean, I don't know what is that? When you watch it in the fucking frame is longer than the Right, frame, right. But right, it like right. you see all that black shit and it's kinda of distracting to me. I don't understand what the letterbox <sighs> was. Like why was, would they I don't know, but it was like supposed to be like, Oh, that's the panoramic theater edition. Is that what that Salmon went to fucking film school as a cinematographer. What is letterbox salmon? Well, you're talking about the straight up sixteen by nine where it's it's squished down. But you're, but are you saying like the screen was actually a a a, a square box and then it had more black all the way around? Yeah, it, it was so like it was wider. Wide. Yeah, that, I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they would do that either. Uh. Um, it would be, I mean, other than a stylistic preference of the director saying, "I want to fucking do this on a, on a sixteen by nine, but hold the freaking uh, a four by six. Or right. Like a, I a, a I box. just thought, <clears throat> excuse me. 
I just thought it was just the complete picture of what the film was taking in. You're getting to see everything. Nothing is cut off. So you're seeing right. like the right. whole thing right. what the director was seeing when they were like. Like what looking. Big Lux was saying, the panorama. Like in the, the yeah. theaters, right. Yeah. Right. So, <clears throat> but anyway, going back to Hoodstocks. Hoodstocks, yeah. Right. So. <clears throat> wow. We really went off on a ten. That was a good one, dude. What did you? So, what did you think about the chip shit? Uh, oh, blue eyes, like at the end. I didn't see the first part, but I saw you. I saw you eat the chip, and then eat his chip. You're a fool, man. Dude, I had to. I fucking ate the chip, and it was hot. And I fucking his boy Nick. He got so caught up. It got so that chip thing got so fucking crazy. That one of his boys behind the scene, Nick, he was like, Give me and he took a bite of it. And then within yeah, yeah. 10 minutes, dude, he was vomiting foam. I thought I was going to have to hit him with Narcan. Yeah. He was like, yeah. It was like just, he was drinking Coca Cola and trying to bro, get it. I don't out. fuck around, bro. I don't fuck with that. I was already not Watch. feeling good. They were trying to get me to eat that chip. I was like, well, fuck that. I probably would have done that. you good, bro. No, but but fucking Chumahan, you know, <laughs> Chumahan acted like nothing happened. I know, I saw it, man. He was his tongue was blue. Yeah, I mean, he acted like everybody was like, "Damn, this shit didn't even affect this." <laughs> have dude. you had Have you had anything hotter than that? Yeah, dude, I've had a fucking habanero. Yeah, dude, I've, I've had, had a habanero hot. hotter than that. I mean, dude, what, what's brought you to your knees? It was a fake ass sal- uh, hot sauce from one of those fucking. You know, uh, farmers market, Fairfax, and whatever fucking yeah. hot sauce shop, uh-uh. and it's the one where they like, you know, distilled the capsaicin down to just like oil. Oh. And I put like a bunch of those on there, and it was like a slow burn, like it didn't hit right, but there was a point at which it just felt like there was a lake of lava fire just going down, and I was like tearing up and shit was swollen my lips were all swollen dude i looked like i fucking boiled my head i was like oh, <laughs> uh, my head. Fuck dude, that. Yeah. but after i ate that chip so it was hot but it wasn't the hottest and i amped it up a little bit for the fucking hard luck show right, like right. right respect and all that right. but dude that whole night I could feel my digestion. Like, the chip was up here in my chest. Yeah. Then it moved down to the left. Then it was going in a little testing. I could feel it making a corner. I felt the whole thing. And this morning at 10, dude, it came out. Oh, you <sighs> felt it? Oh, I felt it. I feel like inanimate <laughs> objects felt it, bro. It was it. It was a serious... It was one of those ones where... You're not even trying to like be like, oh, I'm not taking a shit in here. You're like, yeah, everybody needs to just leave right now. Like, but what I mean, that I understand what you're talking about. But yeah. that's other people and what's gonna happen. On, what I'm talking about just internally, you. Right. Was your ass on fire? I'll be honest, it wasn't. I really okay. thought that like I would be like shitting razor blades. Right. That's yeah. what I was anticipating, and I was willing to do it. it usually is stuff. when it goes in hot. Right. And and especially when all night when I was sleeping, I would wake up and I could I like and when I woke up at like three or whatever, I definitely felt it. Like, I was like, oh, it's getting close to the right, end. Right. Right. But then when it came out, it was just it was hot, but it wasn't like I thought it was gonna. Be. I now now see because there's like a powder or a solution or something that's been put on the chip to make it hot oh yeah that's different than i think like pieces of chile and Uh, seeds seeds. and like coming down those aren't going to dissipate through the digestive like if they're just burning hot and they're coming out they're coming out burning hot they're still intact you know what i'm saying oh bro so maybe that's a little bit it's maybe that's what the difference is that i had a situation you're i think you're 100 percent right i had a situation in thailand where it was like Bro, I was dying. Did you, I mean, shove, did you shove ice cube up your ass? No, nah, dude, I didn't. Yeah, I prayed my fucking... Have you ever shoved an ice cube up your ass? No. Really? No, man. I mean, where I got to go to the freezer and get an ice cube and stick it in my ass? Well, I if you're burning up, you're going to be by the freezer anyways for ice because your mouth's burning. But... Dude, first of all, no, I ain't putting no ice in my ass. Second of all, if you got to that... I, well, you know what, dude? I'll tell you. Because I've had to shove a fucking... I put an ice cube in my mouth. I sucked on it a little bit, so it wasn't all hard and square and fucking sharp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was an ice. I got it down to like a a nice little pebble, right? right? <laughs> fucking whoop! I had to put did it right. It, did it help? Hell yeah, dude! It did? did it, bro? It was like 
That's the it, way? Let me tell you something, dude. It was a... Uh, <laughs> well, I started across and I started uh, losing all the I, man. I almost passed out. What did yes, you, bro. What did, you what did you eat? Oh man, I ate raw jalapenos, uh, and it fucked me up. And it wasn't just the first shit; it was like three shits. <laughs> yeah. So I as know. soon as I was done, shit, oh, my bro. ass was burning. <laughs> yeah. shit. You ever had? And I didn't even have to shit more, and right. my ass was. Oh, but, and I still had more to come. Oh yeah, and, yeah. I, and I and I. Boop. It feels like if it, and it is you ever had it where it feels like your lower self is like spasming? Oh, or like man, flame dude. spasm oh, where you're like ah. Oh. Yeah, bro. And or everything. I mean, you 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 can't even wipe. <laughs> oh yeah, one of those. You got dab. You got to dab because yeah. it's so painful. It's a dabbing. Oh. You've you've actually burned your asshole. That is exactly your what asshole is. has been burned. And your asshole has like folds in it, so that heat is yep. getting pushed together, exactly. bro. Exactly. That's why. I put that the ice cube. Yeah, that, that makes sense, dude. That makes sense, dude. It's almost like I think if it, one went up and one went just <laughs> holding place. What you need? So I just squeeze my cheeks. In. <laughs> just get like cool one of the those whole area frozen down. masks. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah, wear yeah, it down yeah, there yeah, like yeah, a yeah, yeah, damn near. Like, <sighs> Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So, but and it was only a chip. Now, right, had it right, been right. clumps of fucking an extra, yeah. it might have been three the hard way. Yeah. It might have been. Yeah, so it was yeah, a chip. Yeah. So I, well, thank God. Yeah, I survived that. But, dude, Jesus. lucky Sun Tzu, bro, when I was talking to him, his eye was already starting to swell and tear up. Like, I was like, yeah, oh, blah, yeah. Blah, And it was like, and then, dude, 1, everybody 000. was knocked out, son. It was, that, it was a hot chip. I ain't going to lie. It was a hot chip. That was a hot motherfucking shit, bro. Yeah, what do you think about that setup that was in there? They've got a pretty intense setup, yeah? Yeah, I think what they got that's good is the fucking, that monitor. And then they have, like, you know, couches and shit. They got a good backdrop and everything, but... What? You know what, man? I want to say this. Some of the other podcasts that I look at, there is one thing I like. I don't know who that Asian... um, Comedian, I can't think of his name right now. He's got, he's on like every podcast. In fact, he had Cre- uh, Creeper Fit on his podcast. Read it, Frankie Kunones or whatever. Okay. By the way, that dude's show is fucking hilarious. Oh, I gotta check it out, bro. Dude, he's got this one yeah. bit. He's got this part in the show where he's just standing in a pool drinking a tall boy. You sent me that. Yes. That's hilarious. And the guy's like, everybody get away from him. Get away from him. He's peed in the pool. And he's like, what? I ain't peeing in the pool. He's like, you're. No you've offense, been here. you've been in there for five hours and you've drank in three tall cans. There's no way you didn't pee in the pool. Uh, dude, that whole segment was fucking hilarious, bro. And that dude, he's from Oxnard, right next to Ventura. Who? Uh, that creeper. Frankie Quinones? Yeah, Creeper Fit. He's from Oxnard. All right. Yeah. Shout out to the 805. Yeah. But yeah, what did you think of their setup, Big Lux? I liked it. I mean, it, it was cool. They've got, that, that's their spot. Right. Right. I mean, they've been in other spots, yeah. but yeah, that 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 spot was dope. I like the way they got it set up. How many subscribers does he have uh, on, on his... YouTube? Yeah, it's like sixty-seven thousand. Yeah, Damn. I think we got seven thousand views already on that show from when we were on it. Damn, seven thousand. That's boy. great. Yeah. Well, he was giving it up for us too, you guys. No, he was super generous. He was cool. He was supportive, and and I, I and you know. He was all about the unity, bro. He was all about the collab unity, fucking let's work together to create That's a it, and that's what I'm about. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, that part was really, that was, I don't know, I felt like that was really good on his part. Like, the, the one critique I had for them is, uh, Lux, your mic wasn't on. It wasn't? Yeah, no. It was a lot of times, I kept on seeing it in the comments, fix his mic, fix yeah. his mic. Yeah. yeah. I was fucking up that mic. So could you not hear me through the show? I could hear you through like his, his. mic or yeah. They did that on purpose, maybe. You they wanted to hear more from you than me. No. Yeah, quite yeah. possibly. Come on. No. Yep. Intentional. One hundred percent. No, dude. Lucky soon. No, dude. Percent. No. Come on, man. That dude was all about the collab. And then at the end of it, dude, right? They were ask you know, asking you some questions, getting you to fucking Share some experience, strength, and hope. Yes. Remember that? Yeah, bro. You know. Do you have to everybody's read? got our struggles. 
Yeah. Did you have to lead a meeting? No, but you know, there's different guys that are going through different things over in that camp. Just like there's different guys going in through different things on this camp, you know? yeah. And, right. And I think uh, Lucky was like, "Hey, man, talk to these, you know, they're, they're, you know, we'll just share some of that." So we were getting to to do some of that together, and you know, yeah, man, good guys. Uh, Speaking of people struggling in camps, have you heard any updates on Lepke? Anything? Well, from what I've heard, he's not struggling. He's doing good. He's doing good. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's good. But I haven't talked to him as of lately. Lately. Yeah, I haven't talked to him as of late, late. Right. <clears throat> well, that's good. I mean, I'm glad that he's doing good. Yeah, I didn't mean. I, 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 you know, I, I you know, listen. Let me still a little bit. I think a little bit frustrated from the show. He is. I mean, yeah. There's a part of him that's definitely frustrated about the show and it airing and uh, his position on it. And yeah, but you know. Hey, man, either you get over it or you don't. Yeah, but don't you think some people talked to him and said, hey, man, I know you feel frustrated, but, like, you know, from our perspective. I'm sure. Like, maybe there was something that you should have heard on that show. Maybe that was good for you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey. <laughs> It is what it is, you know? Yeah. It's a fucking podcast, you know? Like, you don't, you know? <clears throat> don't come on and and... and, and and do the show, and then when you're done, don't want to take parts out or don't want it. Go like, what the fuck are you doing? We've so. had a t we had a few people come through that sometimes they might, you know, after the show have second thoughts about what went down or or whatever. But I mean, we've always kind of told them like, look, that's just the way it rolls. You're yeah, a human. I mean, listen, if there's anything incriminating, anything that could be a problem for you, or or anything like that, absolutely. Edit it. We'll do whatever. Hundred percent. What you're talking about isn't that. Right. We're right. talking about something completely different. Usually, it's like a ego thing, not yeah. a not a, a trouble thing. It's like an ego thing when they're like, I don't know, how did that come off? Or right. My mom. We're like, bro, don't overthink. I think it. I sounded dumb right there. Or that. Fuck out of here. Do yeah, boy, yeah. And then my favorite is when I tell Old Blue, I was like, yeah, they want you to go through and take out every time they say, ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Old Blue was like, I ain't doing that, man. I gotta yeah. cook these motherfucking hot dogs. Yeah, I need you to go to uh, <laughs> nine uh, sixteen and remove this sentence, and then you go to four fifty four and remove uh, these two words, and then uh, and take this combination out of sixteen twenty seven. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's this combination of my safe. Yeah. Put Fifteen hundred like, okay. bucks in there, motherfucker. John just be like, okay. Handled, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I handled that. Done. Yeah. No worries. You sound great. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I had a good time. Although, it's, I mean, it's busy for me because then I drive home. And, you know, it's hard for me because I get home. I didn't get home till about 11. Then I got the shit kit. So that's like 11.30. And usually, I, <laughs> shit kid, yeah. And then usually I have this, you know, I get kind of like amped up or something. Well, let me ask something. Go yeah, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Real, Walk real me through this. On, go ahead, please. On the shit kit. Go ahead. Uh, what time do you usually get to that? About seven forty-five, eight o'clock. So then you know what my next question is. I don't. If it's eleven. Oh. Has your body already started to go into like a fucking Jones on where this is at? No, you know, no. It doesn't. It, oh. It's what's weird about it is, dude, I'm telling you, my mind subconsciously controls my Jones and shit. As long as I get to it on a day, on the, and within a 24 hours, I'm good. Like, I don't start shaking and I'm like, and like, I don't start like having like the knocking on the back door shit until I'm legit like in the bathroom and it's going down. Somehow yeah. my mind keeps it all together, bro. It could yeah. be 11, could be 8. Doesn't matter, my mind knows. When I was traveling in Peru in the fucking rainforest, I didn't take a shit for an entire week because the all they had was a dugout ground and it was fucking fucking trillipedes and fucking big ass shit climbing up out of pools and shit and I wasn't I, I, <laughs> trillipedes I don't know what it was like like you know when you watch dinosaur movies and like you see scary, the like scary yeah, like yeah, yeah, come up and grab your shit bro like pinchers and hair and shit like bro you ain't fucking spreading your butt cheeks and shitting in that shit no fucking way you were gonna do that I don't care how much you love the environment 
So really? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So somehow my body knew. And then we went to a regular hotel. I'm telling you, as soon as my foot touched the hotel grounds with running water, my, I had to take a shit. <laughs> it's as like soon I, as it touched the porcelain, <laughs> dude, his body like, knew. It's like I'm a camel. It like goes up into a hump and just stays up there. So anyway, so by the time, so I couldn't work out this morning. I mean, I, I genuinely can't get up at 4.15 if I go to bed at 11 and then be here for another fucking setup. Right, right. Uh, so I wasn't able to work out. And that definitely fucks me up. Like, into, if I, that throws off my, my fucking routine. And then, Your biorhythm. Yeah, I did, you know, but. Eh, how often do you do that? Well, it's not that as much as I need to lighten up a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, life is life. I can't always be on a fucking routine. Well, yeah. That's right? what I'm saying. Yeah, you're right. You're fucking right. So I have that talk with myself. Then I drive back up here. <clears throat> have uh, lunch with Ethan from fucking Petty Snacks. And then he eats a vegan half pizza pizza. And then, you know, he's doing whatever he's doing. And then we come down here and fucking and do the show. And then the people that work for me think that I don't work. You know, they see me, like, having fun. Like, oh, he's on hood stuff, he's over here, and I got to write a motion. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, it well, must be nice, must be nice. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, it was fun, man. Fucking hood stocks, they got a good show, man. They do. Good energy. Good energy. Lucky at hood stocks. He's got it his own theme song. Like, he raps, and that's why he can play that shit. So I, I like that. I thought that was dope, that he could have his own music. He has his own rap. We have our theme song, but I feel like we need, like, an outro. And they can take calls, bro. What the fuck is that? Yeah. We can take calls. How, why don't we? Where's our calls? We'll hook it up. Where's our call line? Yeah, we need a fucking love lines, bro. We need call lines. You want to talk lines. about... Yeah, call in with your sex problems, you little freaks. Like, people could call in and talk to us. Or we could... What I'd love to do is prank call some fools. Like, call people up. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and call them up. And, man, when you had your old studio set up, like, I don't know, three or four months ago... In, hmm. the, in the what was it? What was that place called? Down the PYFC. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like a whole setup. You had the computer, you had the monitor, screen. Shit, you were. We had that shit. here too, though. He brought yeah, in. Yeah, his... I had a whole thing, but it's like, I gotta put it in the truck. I gotta drive down here, and the only issue is, is like, do we need it? We need it when Adam Sean from the LA Times comes in because he's got his video series on cannabis. Okay. So then if we're going to play it and show it, we could do all that. If I had a production team, we could fucking do more clips. We could so look at weird shit, talk about whatever's going on. Talk about Kanye West. Talk about fucking... Yeah, now you're talking. Some topical shit, you know? Talk about like, yeah, uh, you know... Dude, I'll just say that. It what just seems say? it seems crazy to me that Kanye West feels like he's been treated poorly or something. You know what I mean? Like he he got on there and said that now he knows what it feels like to have a knee on his neck because Adidas, you know, said, you know what, we're not oh, fucking fuck. with you anymore. I was like, Yeah, but George yeah. Floyd is dead, bro. <laughs> like you're still alive. Like, what are you talking about? And then he said it this was like a a lynching because you know nobody likes him now i was like Damn. why do people think that it's not fair if people don't like what you say and they just shun you like like you're we're not saying you can't say it you say whatever the fuck you want and fucking say it i just don't have to like it or listen to you i don't have to give a shit right there's a lot of motherfuckers that nobody pays attention to because nobody gives a shit what they think or say. Sure. So why is it then people, whenever they get some feedback they don't like from the general public, they're like, oh, cancel culture. That's not fair. I thought there was supposed to be freedom of speech. It's like, yeah, there is freedom of speech. And then there's freedom of me to like turn my back on you and tell you go fuck yourself. Why, why are people, why do they expect to be adored why do they have to expect that whatever they say or do is supposed to be accepted by us why can't we make a, an informed choice and be like yeah i'm not listening to that i don't like you anymore and i don't like that i, I don't 
don't know. We can. <laughs> but we can. <laughs> we are. Right. Yeah. Right. Fuck that shit, man. Right. I mean, I mean, fuck Kanye West all together. Fuck him. Right. And the Kardashians. Where the fuck did that guy ever come from, man? He's fuck him, man. Where the fuck did he come care from? Care less about that. Fucking him alien. People, fucking dude. Fucking planet. It's some weird shit. It's true, but like you're right. <gasps> fuck the Kardashians. Fuck Kanye West. Right. I mean, make some fucking shirts, man. Let's yeah. Go. The hell with them. The sooner they're out of here, the better. Just move and get out of the way. Okay, fine, you're fucking canceled. I don't give a fuck. You, I didn't care what you're doing. Get out of the fucking my social media. What about get out of here? Just go fucking climb under a rock. Go buy an island somewhere. Go fucking, you know, home teach your kids. Or do whatever yeah. the fuck you want. But just stop running your fucking mouth. The fucking guy makes me sick. What about... And, and, Bitch and, ass motherfucker. And while we're at it, if fuck Fat Joe's fashions... Those weird boots, those moon boots, Come whatever on, the dude. fuck, bro. Fucking Fat Joe's a joke. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah, dude. Hey, man. Oh, Him and the missing? other dude from Miami. What's the producer, dude? <laughs> it's that fucking idiot clown. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh. God, dude. DJ Khaled. Oh, oh man, bro. Come on. Why'd you? Oh, you ruining my whole night now. <laughs> man, dude. If I see DJ that motherfucker, Khaled, DJ Khaled, on another video with his God shirt damn, off, trying dude. to slam another a fucking. Another one. God. On a yacht. Another one. A God, yacht. That guy is another the one. I'd like idiot. to see like a fucking dude just roll that motherfucker off into the ocean off the yacht, DJ man. man these let, dudes. let some fucking great white sharks fucking nibble on that yeah. motherfucker for a minute. That guy is a, it, it, it drives me crazy. Annoying fucking annoying ass people. I just like sending his video to you to watch you be like, fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> I sent that to you and you're like, fuck that dude. Yeah, no, fuck that dude. Bro. Yeah. All right, so DJ Khaled, Fat Joe, Kanye West, the Kardashians. Anybody else we add into the fuck you list? Fuck you. Not for tonight, that's good enough. It's my top fuck yous. Yeah, you know what, man? I'm going to put together a fuck you list. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, fuck to you. hell with them. I don't want none of them ever stepping foot on our show. <laughs> none of that bullshit. Eat a dick. <laughs> eat a and dick see list. you later. And see you. Th yep. And thank God. It. All right. Well, eat a dick. And if you agree, then follow us on Hard Luck Show. <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you think that Fat Joe should eat if, a dick. If my enemies are your enemies, join the show. Right. Join the cause. Right. Right. I love it. No more DJ Khaled. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right? Um, anything else? That's all I got, partner. All right. Listen, vibes rolling papers, brother. I mean, come on. Vibes. Look at these are vibes. Are you gonna stop fucking around? Look at this. Vibes rolling papers, all right? Vibes. Right. Shout out to uh to Cookies Burner Vibes www.supermaxhardware.com. Right. And a big shout out to Esteban Oriol. Yeah. Soul Assassins. Yep. Always listen to the Hard Luck Show or watch us Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's what it. What you got? I got a Vonda Bone LLP. Are you tired of wondering whether or not you can sue a motherfucker? Call us and I'll tell you straight. Yes, you can sue this motherfucker. No, you cannot. All right? We wear Let braids. Know. Hey, we wear braids to court. We scare corporate people. They don't like to see us coming. And we'll represent you with passion and integrity. Ovanda Bowen, LLP. Oh, Blue Eyes? Yeah, bro. Check you know. it out. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you this something. Shine at Moomental.media <laughs> for all your audio and podcasting needs. Hey, check it out. Hey. 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 Supermax. Uh, Supermax. <laughs> .com. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And yeah. hardluckshow.com, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hardluckshow.com, baby. Hardluckshow.com. Hey, Art of War. Yeah, hit us up on Gum Road. You could, man, hey. I'm, I've been putting that on the front of our YouTubes, on the back of our YouTube. Music show. Yeah, if we can get you to go, then we'll put up more content. So hit us up on Gum Road. Yeah, what's that, what? Crack that door. Oh, crackthatdoor.com. Uh, yeah, crackthatdoor.com. Crack that door. 
And uh, anybody there? Is there anybody there? Nobody is there. Hey. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Porky yeah. has entered the chat room. Yeah, you gotta have to wait for the next episode for yeah, that. Yeah, he's coming with the coming with the fire. Hasta la vista from the Hard Luck Show. Yeah. Yeah.